Hey, it's Meredith. I'm now 23 weeks, almost 24. I'll be 24 on Tuesday. And I'm here to drink the juice, as they say. It's glucola for um, my glucose screening test. And um, generally that's given between 24 and 28 weeks. So um, Dr. Villers likes for her patients to take it earlier. So here I am. I'm about to drink it. It's um, an orange drink. They say it tastes like orange crush, but I'm pretty sure it's sweet. It uh, says on the bottle it's orange flavored, caffeine free, and not carbonated. So here it goes. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> So, um, I just drank it. I have to wait an hour now until I get some blood work done to check to see if I have any signs of gestational diabetes. If that's the case, I hear that I will have to have a three-hour test, and I will have to fast before that test. So, hopefully this one hour will go well, and um, I won't have to drink the juice again. Uh, we do uh, screening for gestational diabetes for all pregnant women. We usually aim to do it somewhere between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy. Um, the reason that we like to screen for gestational diabetes is because some women actually may have an underlying predisposition for diabetes. These are the women who maybe later in life may develop type 2 diabetes, whereas right now they're completely healthy. So. We just want to know if you're going to be having um, diabetes because it can actually cause some complications in your pregnancy. Um, <clears throat> the women we're most concerned about having di diabetes are those who have family risk factors, who are overweight to begin with, and also women who are a little bit older because those are the ones we see um, who may develop diabetes during their pregnancy. Um, the vast majority of women can control gestational diabetes simply by changing their diet, eating less carbohydrates, monitoring their sugar intake. Um, however, some women who may have um, more difficulty may end up needing medication or sometimes even insulin shots. Um, the reason that we like to treat women who have gestational diabetes and monitor their pregnancies much closer is because they actually have a risk of having their baby get too big. Um, usually it ends up being a lot of fat on the baby and it's not particularly healthy after the baby's born. A lot of times these babies will have problems with maintaining their blood sugars and um, maintaining adequate feeding and adequate nutrition. The other obvious complication is if you have a big baby, it tends to make delivery a little bit more difficult. Um, we've also noticed that women who have gestational diabetes may also be at increased risk for having problems with blood pressures or things like that in pregnancy. So we like to monitor them a little bit closer. However, as I said, the good news is that um, the vast majority of women with gestational diabetes can um, simply change their diets, monitor their blood sugars closely, and have a very healthy pregnancy. It's Meredith. I just got an email from Dr. Villers saying that I passed my glucose screening test. It's really good news, so I don't have to go for any type of follow-up blood work, and I continue, can continue on a normal diet. So, um, exciting news.